Hey guys, we are live on Facebook and on Instagram. It is every Tuesday live at 3. Last week Tuesday, unfortunately we were not live. I was on a corporate excursion with Kanza. Um, we went through Gauteng, looked at all of the different sites and um, there's some cool things in the pipeline there. Um, we're gonna uh, work together with Kanza and Wellstone on some big, big stuff next year. And the wind is against me again today with my long hair uh, cool guys so today we're going to talk a bit about what you can do as an entrepreneur and what you should do as an entrepreneur this time of year to guarantee a more successful 2019 and we're going to talk a bit about that and we're going to uh, talk about all of the things uh, that you should think about and that you should do right now and then you guys should share uh, tell me what you think Tell me how it's going, ask questions if you want to know about something that you can do this time of, this time of year um, and then we will discuss it live. Erlang, uh, Lesier Berger and Nicole and Danica Ritsen. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on the live session today and uh, we're going to talk a bit about what entrepreneurs should do this time of year. We're also finished with all of our talks, uh, no more talks this year. Currently this morning we packed a lot of books from uh, the weekend orders that came in for Christmas. So if you're looking for a Christmas present, go check out the Millionaire 22 store and my, maybe you'll find something there. I'm sure you'll find something there that uh, would be awesome for you as a present to self for Christmas. Okay guys, so let's talk about what you should do as an entrepreneur this time of year to improve your results for 2019. Um, so the first thing you should do is look at how this year went, right? The first thing, you, you, you don't know where you should go if you don't know where you are. So the first thing you should do is you should look at this year. Now a lot of entrepreneurs look at the year and say, hey, I've done this, I've completed this project, I've done this or that, I've you know done this work, but they don't look at the finer details. So I want you to go look at your career this year, look at how much you spent, right, on what. Have a breakdown, take an Excel spreadsheet and do a proper breakdown of how much you spent on what. How much income you generated from what, okay. What was your turnover, what was your, um, how many projects did you take to make that income, right. What was your resources that you, that you used, what was your overheads. Go look at your business and dissect it, like dissect everything so that you can see exactly where your money is coming from, where your money is going, what type of clients resulted in good projects, what type of clients resulted in bad projects. Um, sort out everything, research everything about your business, dissect it. This is the time of year to do that. So you can see exactly in next year, what type of clients should you rather target, right? Um, what type of strategy should you rather implement when going to a meeting? You know, what type of meetings got you more sales this year and whatnot? What type of marketing worked this year? For which audiences and what did not work? And then you should also see, okay, this year I made this turnover, this was my expenses, why? Where can I um, fill some of the holes and uh, stop the water from leaking? And this is the income I generated, why? Through what? And then you do this analysis to understand exactly what's happening in your business or in your entrepreneurial journey. Um, a quick example from what I discovered in my business is we do website development, branding, um, hosting and social media management. And we actually realize that we spend most of our time, like 70% of our time in the office, um, serving clients that's hosting with us. But they only pay 99 Rand per month for hosting, right? And then we, we, we understood that, hey, most of our time is going into hosting. But most of our income is coming from branding and it's not coming from hosting, right? And it's coming from social media management. So we changed our whole strategy for 2018 to market branding, right? To market uh, social media management instead of hosting, right? So that's something that you can discover because you think in your business, hey, I'm busy, I'm working, I'm hustling, but why isn't the income there? Why is the expenses so high and the income so low? And if you start to dissect your business, then you can see all of these problems, you can see all of these things. On the live session, we have 
Erlang, uh, Lesier Berger, Nicole uh, Danica Ritson, Angelica Ricardo. Hey guys, how's it going on live session? If you're enjoying it so far, send the shop so that I know I'm on the right track. And then if you have any entrepreneurial questions, ask them on the live session right now and we will answer it live. So the first thing you need to do this time of year is you should dissect your business, right? Do some research, look at your business in detail and see what's going on exactly what's going on in your business so that you know where you are. Then there's the next step. Where do you want to go? Okay, so you know where you are, you've dissected your business, now where do you want to go? So that's the next step, that, uh, the second thing that you need to do this year at this time is set out your goals for next year. It will not work trying to put out those goals on the 1st of January, right? Uh, don't wait for your New Year's resolution, do it now. Set all of those goals out now and point exactly, okay, I made this amount of money this year, next year I want to make that amount of money. This year my turnover was this, next year my turnover was needs to be that, right? And you write it down, written down goals, guys. Go home and write it down, okay? And then from there you work backwards. So decide what's the most important thing in your business. Are you going to chase sales? Are you going to chase brand exposure? Are you going to chase turnover? What are you going to chase, right? What's your most important thing? Decide it and then write that down. And then from there, you work backwards. So you say, I want to have a turnover of 1 million Rand. Okay, here it is. What do I need to get a turnover of 1 million Rand? Okay, I need 100 sales to get a turnover of 1 million rand. Perfect. The next step is you need 100 sales. What do I need to get 100 sales? Okay, you need to do this amount of marketing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do this amount of marketing. What do you need to do that amount of marketing? So you work backwards. You take your goal that you want to achieve next year, then you work backwards so that you know exactly what to start doing in January 2019. So you know in 2019 in January, you're gonna start with this amount of marketing because then you know you're gonna get that amount of sales because then you know you're gonna get that amount of turnover. And that's a quick example, but you need to do it very delicately and very detailed. Go into the finest detail of exactly what you can do every day in your business to get to the end goal of 2019. So you choose your main goal and you work backwards. You should also decide very carefully how you choose your goal. For example, in my personal finance, my goal is not how much I can save, right? Because if I say I want to save a million rand this year, I want to save five million rand this year, then it means that my brain would be focused on saving the whole time. So whenever I want to do something, my brain would first thing it would think, no, wait, I need to save, right? Because my goal is to save a certain amount of money. I don't do that. My personal finance goals is measured on how much I can generate, how much income I can create. So I say I want to create a million rand this year. I want to create five million rand this year. Now my brain is focused on creating that income instead of saving that income. So when you choose your goals, make sure you choose very wisely so that you focus on the correct thing. So if you want to generate a million, don't focus on saving a million focus on creating a million okay and similarly in your business make sure you choose your goals very very well if your goals for your employees is time they need to deliver like this then they might neglect your customers they might neglect the office they might neglect quality just to adhere to that time goal right because you're focusing on time when your goal is customer service right they might not take uh, complete it so quickly because then they might take longer because they're focused on customer service so make sure you focus on the right goals when you choose your goals so that's the second thing guys the first thing is you need to know where you are dissect your business make sure you know exactly what's happening in your business or your personal finances then the second thing is you need to set your goals now not on new year's right and you know where you want to go Take your main goal and work backwards so that you know exactly what to do 1 January. And the third thing is what you fill your mind with this time of year. We're going to talk about that just now. On the live session, we have Orlang, Alessia, Nicole, Danica, Angelica, Ricardo, John, Brandon, um, 
uh, Reginald in Kellen. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the live session a lot. Please send through your entrepreneurial questions. Do you have any questions? Let me know. Um, are you enjoying the session? Send a shop or a wave. To let me know I'm on the right track. The final thing, the third thing you need to do this time of year is start in, um, taking in new content. Because throughout this year, you might have been busy you know, rushing, replying emails, attending meetings, hustling, getting stuff done, right? But you might not have focused on yourself, on your knowledge, on your improvement. So this time of year, when you're on the beach, when you're on holiday, when the office is a bit quieter, focus on self-development. Take a book with while you're on the airplane, right? Or while you're driving in the car, read a bit. Get some new knowledge in. You know, see what the trends were from this year. What lessons can you learn? What's, gonna, what's the trends for next year? How can you be on the front end of that trend? You know, read up a bit. Get some knowledge about your industry. Do some self-improvement. So that when you hit 2019, you're prepared, you're mentally fulfilled, and you can just go ahead, jump into the year with new ideas, new techniques, new tools that you've learned through this type and this time of year guys so that's my three things that I would suggest you do this time of year firstly do some research check out your business dissect your business make sure you know any everything about your personal finance your business where the money is going where it's coming from what worked what did not work this year then secondly set your new goals Make sure you set your main goal and work backwards and make sure you do everything detailed and know exactly what you can do every day to reach that goal. And then make sure you choose them wisely so that your mind is focused on the correct outcome. And then finally, the third thing you need to do is you need to fill your mind with all of the new things, new ideas, new knowledge, new tools and tips so that next year you're ready to hit 2019 with a bang. Cool guys, that was the live session this Tuesday on at 3. I hope you, re you really enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some good value from it. Make sure to tune in again next Tuesday at 3 for the live session. Uh, guys, go hustle, go change the world and make a difference. Awesome. Uh, Danica is saying shop. Ricardo is waving. Hi Ricardo. Brandon waving. Orlang saying shop. Nicole. Brandon is saying shop. Burger, Lucia, Ricardo is saying a lot of shops. Awesome, Ricardo. Angela Fincher is saying thanks. Angela, thank you for joining in. Uh, Kellen is also shopping. John is waving. Erlang, double shop. And Brandon is saying thanks for the tips. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for joining in this Tuesday. See you again next week. Go hustle.